Good morning. Hello, ladies and gents. First of all, I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube was a dream of mine that I've had since I was probably like 10 years old And I never thought that I would actually get to that point But here I am and I only started like actually posting and gaining subscribers like a year ago and I hit 100k a year later bitch what but i'm literally over the moon i want that plaque bitch i want to hang it on my wall somewhere where i can see it and remember every day yeah i got 100k none of that would be possible without you guys Mwah. i was literally stalking my subscriber count refreshing it every two seconds thank god i was awake when it happened so i could get a screenshot of it here it is yeah can i get a little round of applause from the audience <laughs> okay anyway i got a package this morning i literally Jolted out of bed this morning because my doorbell rang because they delivered this so early. It was probably like 7, 8 a.m. It's literally just Dolce's cat litter. I ordered so many bags of this so that I don't have to refill for like a really long time. Because last time I got this, it lasted me like six months. I have no idea where I'm going to put all of this. That's a problem for future me to figure out. But I also have some updates for you guys. Boom, I got a new washing machine. I went to a recycle shop in my neighborhood and they had this really nice washing machine that also dries for literally 30,000 yen, which is like $200. And I was like, slay and free delivery like they would come and install it and everything so i was like okay yeah i'm gonna take it and they take my old one so that's what they did yesterday and she's running right now and washing clothes but not only did i get a new washer i also got boom in my previous video i was talking about how i was thinking about getting an imac and i've wanted this exact imac for so long and when i hit 100k on youtube i was like now's the time but i'm so excited because it's so pretty i got the blue option and it's so kind also just being able to be like a little desktop girly like i just love the vibes and lastly for my splurge i was deciding whether i was going to get the imac or if i was going to get a ramoa suitcase because if you follow me you know that i want ramoa luggage so bad and it's been my dream so what did i do i bought both the imac and the ramoa suitcase both in blue blue is just my color right now i don't know what's going on but i love it but they just came out with this new color and look at how beautiful this color is i was like i have to have it and also it's so cute they like put your initials or whatever you want on the tag it's a very luxurious experience at that store i felt very out of place but it was so much fun and i feel like this is just an achievement like a lot of my content that i've created is about traveling and so this is kind of symbolism of like I don't know, but it's just something I wanted to fucking buy and I'm just trying to justify it. But I'm absolutely in love with this suitcase, like down to the stitching and the zipper, everything is blue. It's so beautiful. So that was my splurge yesterday and I don't even regret it. I'm so happy with the items that I got. I'll get used out of both of them. Although the suitcase costs about just as much as the damn trip, so. But also the thing about Ramoa luggage is that if it ever breaks, you just take it to the store and they will fix it. So it's kind of like a lifetime suitcase that I'm gonna have for like ever. Guys, I asked you on Instagram what videos you want to see more of, and I got literally probably like 500 responses, maybe a thousand, like I cannot count all of this. I love how interactive you guys are with my Instagram. It makes me so happy. Like the engagement on there is fucking insane for how many followers I have, and it feels like such a tight knit community that I have. So if you don't follow my Instagram, you're missing out and my goal this year is to be way more active on instagram and so far i have been like i'm posting stories and regular posts a lot also randomly today instagram like yes the actual instagram account commented on my picture what but i'll take it i mean i guess that's cool but yeah i love posting questions on my instagram story because you guys go fucking crazy every time i do and it helps me so much with like inspiration for my next video oh my god i have so many updates for you guys like i just can't shut the fuck up i got two gifts from my friends from margella replica which is like a fragrance store and these fragrances are so good. I really hope she likes it, but with that, they gave me samples. These smell so good. The one called Lazy Sunday Morning, chef's kiss. And on a date, look how tiny this is. Like it's really, really tiny. I don't care. Cause one perfume is really expensive. It's like a hundred dollars, but the samples are free. And I love this smell. I showed this in my last video, but I normally use this fragrance, which you can actually get at Sephora. So whenever I'm in the States, I get it. Cause we don't have Sephora in Japan. One thing about me, I am the king of fragrance. I will have a good fragrance on at all times. So y'all can trust me with that one 
recommendation. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting ready to leave the house. I swear we're leaving today, okay? We're, we're leaving my apartment. I just need to get ready. But I wanted to show you guys my new jacket because, oh my God. As you guys know, I've been really into shopping recently. <laughs> One of the things that I'm trying to do this year is really just upgrade my wardrobe and actually dress up, get Instagram pictures, you know, the whole nine yards. So I'm really trying to invest in getting new clothes. Last year, I barely bought any clothes and I was re-wearing the same things over and over and over again. These bummy ass outfits that I was wearing everywhere and I don't want to do that anymore. Like I want to actually try. I was just so lazy last year. So 2024 is not the year of being lazy. Get your ass up, bitch. Anyway, I want to show you guys my jacket because this jacket is so cool. It's like Swedish military attire. It kind of is a bit of a process to get this jacket on, but I bought this yesterday and I wasn't even planning on buying it. I went to Harajuku just to get my friend a gift and then I stopped in this store and saw this jacket and I was like, yeah, that's coming home with me. Here she is. The details on it, like all the buttons and everything and the little knots at the bottom. And I feel like a leather jacket just like elevates your outfit if it's the right one. Normally, I'm not a leather jacket girly, but this one I absolutely love. Y'all, I'm covering the order number, but look at this. I got the official confirmation email that I'm eligible for the 100K plaque. And I didn't even know how any of this worked before. You just get an email and then type in what you want on the plaque, like your name. And then shipping is free and they send it to you for free. Now I'm getting a plaque soon and I'm so excited to get it in the mail. This has probably been like one of my biggest dreams like my whole life. But of course I will be filming it when I get it in the mail. So get prepared for that. Y'all class is officially in session and I feel like I am already drowning. Like thinking about doing homework. I feel like I have no time to do absolutely anything and I'm like squeezing in everything I can. Before school started, I was so happy because I was just vibing, hanging out with my friends and I had a really good balance between like doing work and hanging out with friends and just having like a life. And now I have to do work, school, and have a social life at the same time. So one of the three is gonna struggle. And I have to go to class like every single day. So we're definitely getting a little bit hectic over here. But I'm going to get dinner with my friends, so let's go. Y'all, it's 3.04 p.m. and I finally just made it out of the house. We're gonna do a mic'd up fit check, okay? Starting with the bag, this bag is from Heaven. It's really cute, it's like the newer collection. I already told you guys about the jacket, so don't ask. My pants are from this like random store in Vietnam and my shoes are Acne Studio sneakers that I got from Mercari. Y'all are always like, I need to know where he gets his outfits from. But a lot of the time I either buy my stuff secondhand or it's from just like a store in Japan that you guys can't get it from. So I just like don't know what to tell you. The only time I don't respond to where is something from is when you literally cannot get it. But trust, you will be the first to know if it's something that you can get. I'm just gonna go to Harajuku earlier and get something to eat beforehand because I'm too hungry for this shit. Y'all, a slight change of plans have occurred. The events are actually taking place in Shibuya instead. Always end up back in Shibuya. But I'm okay with that because there's actually more stuff to do here anyway and I can still get a coffee. Hey, King. I actually need coffee so bad. Like, I'm about to start tweaking in this bitch, bruh. I don't know why, but some days I just like pick and choose when I want to be like nervous about vlogging. Like, some days I just do not care. But today I'm like, oh, I'm kind of shy today like I don't know <laughs> no it's fine I'm gonna be fine but we're going to St. Mark's Cafe which is one of my favorite places in Japan I don't think I've ever taken you guys there let's go these croissants are literally to die for y'all they're so good <laughs> where to go because I still have literally an hour and a half until my friends get here and I have absolutely nothing to do and it's starting to get dark so I'm like babes what do I do I always do this like I'm literally always the early friend look y'all I'm in Shibuya this is what y'all love to see Shibuya crossing vibes there's one reason I love food malls so much in Japan and if you don't know what a food mall is let me show you this is a food mall 
It's literally just like endless, extremely cute food. And I want to buy everything every time I come to these. Like, oh my god, they have Ridakuma, Bamkuchen, Sennana Hyoku Hachijunia. I really want to buy this. Like, it's not even the food that I want. It's really just the packaging. The packaging is so cute. That's how they get you. But some of this stuff can be so expensive. Like, and it can also be considered as like omiyage souvenirs from Japan. Y'all, look at these. These look crazy. These tarts look insane. I want one so bad. This is really where I have to be like resisting because I just want to buy everything that's in here. Y'all, this is my favorite dessert in Japan. It's called Ichigo Daifuku and it's like mochi with a strawberry in it. It's so good and I can rarely find it. Y'all, I'm about to see Jamie, my friend for the first time in like five months because I was abroad and she was in the Philippines and she's back. Oh my god, I see her. Jamie! <laughs> Hi! Did you get told? <laughs> no, he's such a buddy. Merry Jump in, thank you! Open! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, which one smells like or reminds me of Jammy? <laughs> so I got the one that reminds me of you the most. You like it? I love it. Let me smell. Usman vibes. Let's go. Burrito unboxing take one. You're going faster than me. First bite. Yummy. Just got me a gift. I'm so excited. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh your stripe collection. God. Oh, no. oh, untie that, Ryan. <laughs> okay. This is so my vibe. I, Wait, like, it looks good your fit. I yeah. have like a cat ear hat, but it doesn't have the tassel. Mm -hmm. and I've always wanted the tassel. It's sick. Bitch, this says aging hair. You yeah. trying to say some shit? <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. Yami yeah, always know. brings us mangoes from the Philippines. <laughs> He's opening it already. <laughs> They're so good. I crave these all the time. All of my gifts were amazing. Y'all, we're playing Taiko. Y'all. Period. We're doing Mario Kart. Mario Kart, 200 yen. Ah! Always towed. We can't get in the frame. Wait, what the fuck? Does she look at that? I came in fourth. I came in fucking fourth. Oh, so close! You bitch. Do y'all drift? Yeah. I do. Wait, do y'all drift? <laughs> Y'all, it is currently 9.42 and I'm just getting back home. I stopped at the Komini because I wanted a Coke Zero so bad. For some reason, I've been craving Coke Zero recently. I don't know what that's about. I never vlog at night, so I'm wondering how the quality is. I hope it's okay. I'm really tired. I can't wait to get inside. Y'all, I gotta do all this shit over again tomorrow. I have to be at school at 10 a.m. Bruh. <sighs> I'm home. Look, you guys, I know we love the longer videos. Let's remember, I'm one person, okay? I'm one person. So I'm sorry, but the video is a bit shorter. I just realized I do not have an outro. I didn't film one. I literally just went to bed last night. But it's the next day. As you guys can see, I'm wearing my new hat. Slay. But y'all know what to do. Follow my Instagram. Like the video. Subscribe. Mwah. And thank you again for 100K. Mwah. I love you. Bye.